<laughs> so I have an appointment today and I'm a little tired because of, of working off the emotions last night and staying up late. And, um, and I woke up in the middle of the night, it was very dark. I didn't check the clock, but I knew I didn't get enough sleep and to go back to sleep. I, I feel somewhat diagonal, but certainly good enough. Today, I have an appointment. Uh, first one since uh, leg surgery, since foot surgery. And I leave here in a little over an hour. And um, it's currently 31 degrees. So if sun's out, roads should clear enough for me to do my hippity hop thing. And um, I don't even remember where he's going now. Started a video because I wanted to ca capture a moment. Jeez. Oh yeah, I remember. Besides my head being so tired right now. Um, going back to work today. Uh, theoretically, I have two appointments. And what I was using as my gauge was being able to be upright and rest my leg that the cast is on. I wasn't thinking about the leg that I that doesn't have a cast. I'll actually be standing in place for a couple of hours. I didn't think about that. Um, I was going to say, you know, the the leg with the cast on, that that leg, originally, when my arches started to fall, uh, and I needed to get orthotics because I was getting swelling around my ankle 360 and I couldn't resolve it. Most things uh, due to my athletic past and being in, in, in uh, closely linked with athletic trainers, I can recall on my memory how to, all oh, right, you know, uh, you get first signs of shin splints, you know, you know how you got them last time and you know how chronic they were. <laughs> so you know how not to get them. You know, I will have some sort of memory recall about what to do. Um, I've contramulation in the knee. I've avoided knee surgery. So that's the wearing down of the bursa sac. And uh, what it was for me is an imbalance between uh, my, my hamstrings are very strong. My quads are not. My hamstrings are stronger than my quads. So it feels like like electricity like <laughs> when I'm running so I'll stop and do straight leg lifts I do about 10 of those and that little electricity goes away it provides a uh, tracking for your patella your kneecap and um, anyway things like that I can recall with my own experience of keeping my body on track online uh, how to how to hey something's going off track and how to get it on track that 360 degree swelling I wasn't able to to fix and uh, ultimately I, I needed to see a, a podiatrist and I got custom orthotics so with a mold a casting uh, as about a thousand dollars between the doctor office visit and the x-ray and taking the mold and making a cast and then making a custom orthotics, it adds about a thousand dollars to every pair of shoes. And uh, but with that architecture of building an arch now, because my arches have fallen, uh, that's allowed me to uh, not have swelling in my ankles and um, all sorts of other, I would imagine, maladies of things falling apart. Um, or falling into a, a state of disrepair. Um, at the time, uh, my right, sorry, my left, the leg that has the cast on now, the left leg, um, that was my workhorse. It was my right leg that had the smaller calf and was deferring all the work to my left. So I had a noticeably bigger left leg because it was stronger its arch was better I'm presuming 
and it just it was just pushing the workload to the left leg so oh sorry so now what's kind of interesting is um, <laughs> uh, now the left leg of course started with one bent bunion <laughs> big one, um, and I think that caused me to roll over onto the small toe, so I got a two bunion, two for bunion, and then of course the uh, flexible tendon that was shucking at, at the big toe it was too flexible, and uh, so I've got a screw in there now. <laughs> uh, but it's ironic that what was my strong leg, <laughs> my anchor leg in this fallen arch scenario, uh, put the workload on it, built a bigger muscle, but developed two bunions. Um, that's not the case now. What I saw when they took the cast off, <laughs> that huge calf is, it's hardly existent. <laughs> okay. <laughs> It's a little shocking because I was just like, what? <laughs> you know, held my, my leg up like this and you've got your shin bone and then you got this slim flap of skin. <laughs> You're like, what is that? <laughs> uh, it'll be interesting to see how that goes to build that up. And of course, learning to, you got to stretch this tendons here, which I've not been able to stretch in a cast. It's 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 muscle it's it's flexibility it's alignment it's practicing proper form heel to toe um what else did i want to say uh videos from last night i've got two of them their first one's going to be tori the next one's going to be farmer f a r m e r e and uh, and I will reiterate re reiterate uh, the land uh, used to mean the people. <laughs> when you spoke of the land, you spoke of the people. So when we talk about our mil mil milner mil millinery millinery. <sighs> Milliner, millinery, millinery. I'm not millinery. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the things that we make with the warp and weft, clothing, product, uh, we with abs weave our stories. To and fro, high and low, put on ourselves and we take off with the same dough. <laughs> and dough, where, where we ask nakedly to uh, um, to get a G rope. <laughs> G uh, in uh, Eve. Uh, Eve's uh, language, a G is grace and gravity. And you can see on my frame, uh, there's no hyphen in that. I'm designing it that way. And I'm working on uh, anyone that wants to, to be able to be a farmer too, to tool the land. Dead again for their own reception, even. Even hand, even fan. Duh. <laughs> and think the same hand. You know, no doths allowed, no stupid. So you can speak your desire, you can consire it and conspire it through others who want the same E-value, A-D. So I'm working on that. It's, um, 
December 10th. Right now, I'm still working on Primo. I'm at about February, February 9th, 2014. I need to get to September. Bridge that gap. Uh, erase a lot of emails <laughs> um, from my from uh, my desktop. <laughs> Maybe I'll get a uh, email service again from Mac without having to pay for it. By the way, are you starting to see through that? Are you starting to see Mac Apple as an example has made a product with no real follow through and no thinking two by two? Okay. Um, and so they tool this product for you to buy into, to look at it, to perceive its connective value, but there's no one there in follow through, and there ne never was, and there was never meant to, okay? For starters, and from this now, uh, when I got the first Bondi Blue a Mac, it came with, was it five? You could have five or a small number of email handles that came through Mac, okay? It used to come with its own read-write program. You've got to buy these things separately now. So you've got this machine, if it's Mac, it costs too much to look at. You want a read-write program on it? You have to buy that separately. That's why I use my email, okay? <laughs> oh, what did they do there? Well, if you don't automatically back up your email to the cloud, I don't need it on the cloud. I've got it. I got a computer. But if I don't sign up for the cloud, then it doesn't show up on my computer. Okay? Just discover if I don't sh have my photos go to the cloud, they don't show up on my phone when I take pictures with them. <laughs> you don't think that's keeping the same money? in the same orientation, thief and debt for no reason and forcing mistake to take place and shake the snake for Ford and Forge goodness sake, snake. It's all hyphenated today. What I'm, I'm fighting here is, is your virtual world for no reason, thief and. And uh, you're not sending niceness down, politeness, and you certainly are not providing the vets real vetting either. So when I go to your, your Twitter page or your Facebook page and you think vets, why don't you give them a little piece of this too, okay? <laughs> you've, you've built a product. Then you have malfeasantly created parts and I have to pay for every fucking part okay and I have to do every fucking part for every part that you're he around art okay <laughs> lest I forget you think of that <laughs> You sent to Dow with war to get your escort. <laughs> Seriously, what the fuck? <laughs> I may be tired, but I think I could see damn straight, <laughs> even with my eyes closed. <laughs> I'm shit on Ky Kylie Jenner. Someone told me a story, John, here in the building, he told me a story, uh, it's like, uh, was this bird, it was cold, it fell to the ground, it got shit on by a cow, <laughs> it's like, oh yeah, but hey, wait a minute, this is warm, it's warming up my wings, it was so happy, it started chirping, that it called attention to a, a fox and the fox ate it. <laughs> so John's like, the moral of the story is if you get shit on, maybe it's not so bad. Just don't say anything. <laughs> it was funny when he explained it to me. Maybe one of your Johns can explain it to you. 
silently. <laughs> what else? I shit on pick someone, okay? Because you're you're part of the problem of creating a product with no one in reception. Even if I had this conversation one on one with Pamela Anderson, she is not capable to uh, so that I could bring her to a level understanding. She's she's not capable in the first place with her desire to engineer this follow through. So the best I can do is bring a level understanding, okay? And I would be remiss, amiss if if uh, I were not cogently aware of the dynamics that allowed for this, okay? Instinctively, because uh, a lot of it is, is a discovery of unfolding, unfool, unfolding. So, the importance of millinery. I'll have to look that word up. I can't remember how it's spelled right now. If I switch from this screen to where my dictionary is, then the video is probably going to go black. Uh, it's what we have right now is thiefen ends, calling 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 them thieven and bend, venerable to bend in the marketplace, dead again, um, you're creating parts with no one there and no heart, okay? And no accountability for your mark. Now, the other thing is, is that I can remember. <laughs> Got this eye twitch. <laughs> it's like, <"Ee." laughs> let me help it out. Maybe I should give that over to my better half. <laughs> I'm not sure what the thought was. It's going to take me a wee while to get Primo complete. Um, I may look at Holly Sprague dot com that's the next one that's not complete or I might go straight to uh, rich wrote dot is and upload the things that I was going to which is at the very least I need to add my 2d performance art um, uh, from there I plan to do a segue to provide a link to an option of one or two uh, other websites. I've got two websites already purchased and um, I just haven't got that far yet to visualize what they're for. <laughs> so let's see, um, any more thoughts? Uh, December 10th, I'm going to work very hard through, um, very diligently through the rest of this year, uh, see what progress I can make. I don't like the videos being down, sorry, the, the websites being down, so it is, um, 
a bit of a saga to get them up though. <laughs> Even though I have a hotspot. The hotspot is faster, but the websites are content laden. And Primo is probably going to more than double uh, from what it was by the time I get that up again. So uh, what I've learned is to upload a website that that's heavy laden, it tends to upload the whole website again. We're looking for six, 10 hours where I can't be on the computer. <laughs> so, so it can be a bit of a saga. So I'd rather, you know, feel like I got everything in place and then upload it. <laughs> and, uh, you know, use the hotspot. I've got 10 gigabytes max per year, sorry, per month. So I, I don't want to use that on false starts, false load up. You know, like, okay, I'm going to do a part now and a part later because I'll be paying for that whole website upload again and again. So, which may put me behind the power curve. <laughs> I have to wait till the next month till I get a fresh gigabyte. <laughs> we'll see. Anyway, um, trying to think any more thoughts. <laughs> your retail is without a heart okay the only two people that are speaking is to get the tine the tin and tine in thine okay that you would cast doffed stupid to perpetually uh, uh, trope and tag a grope, okay? Hyphenated. And open-ended doffed, okay? Again, hyphenated. Doffed stupid, dowing with war, is not the air, okay? He's already, that stupid, is already removed from the guest list. <laughs> and uh, stupid is not preserving awareness to stare. S-T-E-A-R-E-A-D. Uh, K-N-O-W-E parentheses L over L D. I'm designing a parallax a on purpose. A you get in because you want to. A desire as reason in life even. Your name, your awareness, you sell yourself. Uh, to others as well. Duh. <laughs> And we do not fictionalize our graces by making up a third person who is stupid and calling that God, <laughs> supported by the law, hyphen T, <laughs> to cast lots, L-O, hyphen T, <laughs> okay, to toot toft, to loot toft, uh, where your money has no virtue in it, except by God. Bigot, hyphenated, okay? <laughs> Your money in the competitive marketplace is is never inducing grace to take place. Your law, hyphen T, has no D, E, W, E. It doesn't want an even consort or an even contort. It doesn't seek an honest, the honest, uh, evalue. E-W-E-A-D, does not seek it. It holds every woman responsible to doffed. Uh, because men 
Freeman, Doth, Stupid, want to retain the upper hand for no reason, Thiefen. That they would? They will? That they would? Problem is, they've already wooed. Okay? W O O hyphen D. They've already wooed the date for a competition for no reason, Thiefen. How do you think they're going to get off it and still have income and a right to the assay as a as a stayed as stayed and as paid as uh, played as you laid the love you didn't lay the love okay Christine wants to know if I'm going in for the one yes <laughs> That's good for good of her to check. So a little iffy, you know, I was talking about I didn't put this on the video yesterday, is a little iffy about um returning to she wanted to know if I could go well, go today, but yesterday. So she asked me if I could go for an appointment, you know, the next day, which is today. And I looked at the, I looked at uh temperature, I looked at weather forecast, I'm like, it's gonna be snowing Saturday, one to three inches. What's the temperature tomorrow? High of 38. There's a chance of showers, but it doesn't really show when it's going to take place. So I thought, well, with that sun and three inches and we get above freezing, uh, yes, make the appointment on one or two o'clock. And that will give me a couple hours so that I, because I want the contingencies for me working right now, is I don't want the extra variable of snow um, because I have one foot and it's slippery <laughs> and also with the little wee bit Minnow and I did the wheels get stuck and gather snow in them so it's an extra resistance so I didn't want that and I didn't want uh, darkness I don't want to be hopping around with snow, slippery, icy, and darkness. <laughs> okay, so those are the contingencies I put on uh, for, that, that I can go back to work. Of course, I didn't think about standing on my good leg, which was my bad leg, <laughs> until my bad leg became worse. <laughs> uh, we'll see how it goes. Anyway, those are my contingencies. Uh, more than willing and happy to um, bone up as it were uh but not to be stupid about it um i'm not trying to suffer myself another surgery <laughs> to heal the process of healing that didn't get to heal because i was a bit flamboyant <laughs> with the assessment of what would <laughs> would be judicious at this time. 